हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू होप यू विल बी फाइन एंड हेल्थिंग एंड डूइंग वेल टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट इंग्लिश लर्निंग दैट फोर थिंग्स आर नेसेसरी टू लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट थिंग इज लिसनिंग लिसनिंग इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वैन यू विल इम्प्रूव दिस हैबिट ऑफ लिसनिंग देन आई थिंक दैट यू विल इम्प्रूव योर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज बिकॉज यू नो दैट सम पीपल दोज डोंट नो द इंग्लिश ऑफ अदर नेशनैलिटीज वैन दे गो आउट फॉर वर्क दे लिव देर फॉर सम टाइम्स एंड दे आफ्टर सम टाइम्स दे आर एबल टू स्पीक ए लिटिल लैंग्वेज ऑफ दैट कंट्री दैट लैंग्वेज इज़ नॉट देयर ओन लैंग्वेज बट दे हैव बीन देयर इन दैट इन्वायरमेंट फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम एंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दैट इन्वायरमेंट एंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज ऑन दैम यू कैन सी इन दियर कन्वर्सेशन इन द सेम वे यू हैव सीन दैट बेबीज वेन दे आर स्मॉल दे नेवर रीड आर राइट आर स्पीक दे जस्ट लिसन After the listening uh, for some months, they start speaking little uh, sentences or little words, fumbling in fumbling way, and uh, gradually, slowly, they uh, start uh, speaking uh, the broken sentences. And uh, after one or two years, uh, they are able to speak a very good language of their mother tongue. so i think that listening is very important uh, for learning the language so you should uh, in this present era you should uh, develop uh, this habit of uh, listening when you would develop uh, this habit of listening then i think that uh, it will be easy for you to learn english language other when uh, you develop this habit of listening then uh, develop the habit of reading because when you will read you will uh, improve your reading skills you will correct your uh, uh, sentence uh, structuring you have the time when you will read you have the time to think and uh, you will correct your uh, spellings and in this way reading will help you to improve your uh, language after that writing writing is also important when you will try to write uh, you will uh, think in your mind that what are the spelling of this uh, sentence or uh, this word in this way uh, you will uh, Uh, memorize the spellings of uh, all uh, words and you will uh, try to construct uh, the sentences in proper way so uh, develop this habit of writing listening reading writing then speaking if you have developed the habit of listening if if you have developed the habit of uh, uh, reading if you have developed the habit of writing but you are not doing the practice of speaking you are not opening your mouth to speak then it is very difficult for you i have seen some people those are done triple ma those are done classes in english language classes classes uh, those are have the good vocabulary of english language but they can't speak the english language because they don't do the practice without doing the practice it is very difficult for you to speak the english language for speaking speaking comes through speaking as in my previous previous videos i told that uh, uh, once i stopped for one month making the videos then i when i started uh, making video for my channel after one month i uh, faced uh, problems don't touch please go back side don't touch this table okay my son is uh, disturbing me so uh, i uh, i was talking about that speaking practice is uh, important to learn any kind of language so do speaking practice day on daily basis when you will do the consistent uh, practice then it will be easy for you to make the sentences without uh, thinking in back mind uh, thinking translating from translating from your own language into english language this is the bad habit but actually gradually slowly you will improve this uh, you will overcome this problems and you will uh, speak english uh, spontaneously without thinking in back mind or translating uh, translating from your language uh, into english language hope you find this video useful in next video i will talk about some other topics till then allow me i'll taf malik and you are watching me on my english language channel thank you bye bye